Okay. Uh, for this first part, uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter in the matrices. We hadn't really done uh, what is showing what these operations look like when we are uh, doing it with technology, especially in the first lesson. And a couple of those uh, I could have done uh, with technology, uh, but I wanted to save it for uh, this video, you know, for this section. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and put in uh, all of the matrices. And the rest of this, I'll be uh, fast forwarding through so you don't have to see all this and we'll be back together in just a sec. We have the matrices inputted. Uh, let's go ahead and determine uh, the values of uh, the determinants for each of these situations. So plugging in the determinant and the matrix. You'll notice that if you try doing this in the algebra view and ge geodra, you'll get this error. That's because the determinant cannot be computed in uh, the algebra view. So you have to come over here to the cast view. And so it's uh, nice to be able to input the matrices in uh, and store them in the variables A, B, C through in this case. Uh, but then you have to come over here and compute the determinant in the computer algebra view. Uh, so I had to double check because it didn't seem like that's what I got when I wrote them out by hand. Uh, and when I made a mistake on the C one here, uh, these two numbers, I believe I had like a, a one and a two, something like that there. Anyways, uh, so these are the correct values. Um, and so you see the determinant changed to 48. Uh, and so everything else is the same. Uh, so everything else is good. So now if we look at the ratios uh, of each of the determinants, you should see that 12 goes into that two times, four times, goes into there four thirds times and eight times for this one. Okay, so what that's telling you is a relationship between the uh, amount of interchange of the constant. So uh, in part B, we multiply column one uh, by two. And so that ratio comes out as you see. In C, we double the first column and then column two got doubled. So there was two doubles, which is why it's four times as big. And then in column and for letters D, uh, we changed the four to an eight and then that determinant would become, uh, again, the 48. Uh, but that ratio is up four thirds. Um, and then we moved all of the rows uh, in letter E, we doubled all of them. And so you get the factor of eight out. So two to the third, one for each of the rows. Okay. So that shows that the uh, corresponding result is exactly what you would expect um, from this calculation. I hope that was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.